you'll notice I'm really relaxed. We've done a lot of work, you're in groups. Most of what you do today is going to be in groups. And I wanna talk a little bit about um, this week and next week. So here you should be seeing Canvas and here is week 11. Everything is in a slowdown pattern because when you're doing research, that's what you're doing. That's your goal. That's your purpose is to understand your topic, to get a really good feel of it, and then to learn as much as you can till everything seems to um, circulate around a research story. Now, um, here is our module for this week. These are the things that you're doing. Um, you're attending today's synchronous session. You're going to work with your group. I'm gonna talk briefly about the annotated bibliography. You can ask me questions, and then I'm gonna send you to your groups where you can get a good feel for what you're doing and how you're um, gonna do research, some questions that you can ask each other. You will be meeting e with me and your group either on Wednesday or on Monday. So groups one, two, three will meet with me on Wednesday, four, five, six will meet with me on Monday. You're gonna show up for your group meeting time and otherwise you have time, extra time to do your research and work with your group. There is a short video on approaching a research project and narrowing your topic. I wanted to do that on video. It's about 12 minutes and uh, rather than take up time in class. Um, to ensure that you actually watch that, I, there's a five point reflection assignment. So watch it, write a few things, ask me questions if you have them. Um, yeah, done. And then you're gonna do research. Nothing is due on your research until 11, 12, which is a week from Thursday. And then your introduction is due on Saturday, November 14. So get your research done as quickly as possible and meet with me to start talking about you know, like how to draft. I'll put some short videos on drafting your introduction onto Canvas. Let me, um, let me um, talk about the annotated bibliography. There's the video. Um, and the short response worth five points because Almost everything is worth five points. This is the annotated bibliography. Today, once you've created a group link, post it to this right here so that I have your group's annotated bibliography. This is the prompt that I wanna talk about. The purpose of an annotated bibliography is to, um, it's to read sources and understand how valid they are and how they can be useful to you. You're going to be sharing those on a group page and that way um, when you find a source, your group also finds a source. This assignment is worth 40 points, um, up to 40 points and every entry is gonna include a citation a precy, and an introduction of a claim and how the author develops it, which includes at least one short quotation. And then a bulleted evaluation of the credibility of the source and a list of topics that the source covers with page numbers to guide readers. There can't be any duplicate entries. For example, if one of you posts Eric Liu's article, um, what every American should know, then nobody else can post that article. The goal is to build shared sources. 
Um, in addition, I don't want any encyclopedic sources. Those provide baseline information, but they don't provide arguments. Those can be very useful for you getting a good picture of a topic, but they don't count in this annotated bibliography. Worth 40 points, you can earn, you can post three unique entries for up to 10 points each, and at least two of those need to be peer reviewed sources, or you could post three unique entries plus analysis of a new claim on somebody else's unique entry. So you can earn five points each for a maximum of 40 points. It's due Thursday. Let me show you um, the format. Um, I described it already. I'll let you read that. There's a sample entry here. It's gonna have the citation, a praise, analysis of a claim, and then evaluation of a credibility. Um, you'll note that I've bulleted this this is peer reviewed, which suggests it's been evaluated by other scholars. The authors are professors who work in the field. They review six years worth of working toward productive diversity. This is credibility for how it was developed and what kind of evidence they offer. And then here are other topics they address and the page numbers associated with that. This is the work that I want you to do for a unique entry. You'll notice that this is a lot like the reading journal, only it's more concise, it's less opinion-based. Um, how am I assessing it? Well, completeness, depth of analysis, and accuracy of analysis. And uh, you can organize it however your group wants to organize it. I gave you a template for doing this and you'll be able to take this template and make a copy and then share it with the people in your group. Oh, I wish my phone wouldn't ring. Um, anyways, um, you'll be able to share it with the group and with me. So here's your big picture question. What is an American? What is America? What is an American? What should America become? And then your more general topic like diversity or um, education or environment. And then I want you to, with your group, to ask as many questions as you can. Um, Stay away from yes or no questions because we wanna stay away from binary. Does diversity matter in America? Yes. But how does diversity impact someone's ability to attain the American dream? That's, that's a better question. And so see if you can narrow by asking questions. You already know pretty much what you want. So think about how, why, to what extent, and so what questions. And then with your group, brainstorm. What kind of information do you need? Do you need statistics on income, on wages, on types of jobs, um, university admissions, those types of things. And then all your entries go down here. Do you wanna arrange them by topic? Do you want to arrange them by alphabetical order of the author? How do you wanna arrange them? Keep in mind, I do need your name on there. And once you start posting things, um, the group is there to support you. Remember, you're getting a grade on these entries. so give each other feedback, kind of like you would on a peer review. Um, I think you'll need to add the underlying assumptions of the primary audience to that fourth sentence on the pricey. 
give each other feedback that way. Or, hey, I really like you've developed how you've developed this claim or that kind of stuff. Questions on what you're doing with the annotated bibliography. There's also a discussion board assignment, and this may be the last discussion board of the semester. I pulled some articles that I think will be interesting to you. Um, one is about weaving personal experience into your writing. Another is about, you know, like, how do you build exigency? Exigency is showing your readers that this is an urgent issue. Another one is introduction to primary research. That includes interviews, observations, surveys. You might want to do an interview for, with a family member or students. Um, if you do that, this is a good article. If no one in your group is interested in primary research, then nobody in your group should read this. And then the third article is the role of antithetical writing. Now we've done this before, an assignment like this where everybody reads different things. Because you're working in a group, you might wanna assign people to read this. Say, hey, um, I'll read this, you read this, and that way you get a good picture of what are the most important things here. Um, or you can all read the same thing. I don't care, this will be up to you. But this is, um, this is how you're approaching that. And then you're gonna respond to other people. I think there are a couple of groups where um, there are only three people in the group. In that case, you only have to give two responses. So, um, yeah, there you go. Um, any questions on this? And then the reflection direction question, and that's it for the week. Okay. So I'm gonna put you in your groups. Um, I'm gonna let you choose your rooms and there's gonna be six different rooms. And when you're done with your rooms um, and you've submitted your copy of the annotated bibliography that you've given both Alyssa and me permission to not only see it, but edit it, then um, when you're done meeting with your group and you've made a plan to meet with them again and how you're gonna communicate with each other, then um, you're free to go, okay? I'm opening the rooms and go ahead and choose the room that is your room. All right, I don't see you signing up for rooms. Oh yeah, now you are. If oh, you're not giving, if you're not getting that option, let me know, because I can send you to your rooms, but you, if you scroll down to the breakout invitation, um, you should have that option to do that. Faith, do you know what group you're in? 
I know it's a the diversity group, but I don't know specifically what number. I think you're you're not in group one. That means you're in group two. Okay. Um, Rujine, you're in group one. Sienna, what group are you in? Um, environmental. Thank and you. Van, you're in group. Oh, you know what? I really messed this up. Um, Van, you're in group three. And um, what group am I in? Vivian, which group are you in? Are you in a diversity group, Vivian? No, you're in education. I'm in education. Okay. Hello. I was yeah. just wondering um, what group I'm in. I'm in environmental crisis. Okay, so that's group three. Who is who's speaking to me? It's Rebecca. All right, Rebecca. Um, it's going to be easier for me if I go, Alexis, which group are you in? You don't get um, an invitation, Laika. You sign up for a group. You join the group. Alexis, which group are you in? Um, I'm with the mental, like the mental health one. Okay. I don't know what number that is. I will send you to your rooms. Ariana, which group are you in? I'm in group number three. Okay. Um, Cameron, which group are you in? Um, I don't know the number, but I'm in diversity. And Chris, which group are you in? I'm in the healthcare and opioid epidemic one. Okay. Um, Drake, which group are you in? I'm in education. Eliza, which group are you in? I'm in the healthcare and the opioid one. Okay, Erica? I'm in immigration. Okay, group five. And Grace, which one are you in? Environmental crisis. Okay, Jenny, which one are you in? Oh, you're in the environment also, right? Yes. And uh, Lily? I'm in the healthcare one. Okay. Let's see, which one are you in? Oh, education. Yes, education. And Laika? I think I'm in the second diversity group. Okay. And Matias, you're in diversity group one. Melissa, which group are you in? Mental health. Okay. And Rujine, you are in? Diversity and uh, equality, yes. Yeah, and Sophia, you are in group one also. Asia, are you there? Yeah, I'm in um, education, but I'm not sure what group number it is because I joined the wrong group at first, so I left that breakout room. Okay, I can send you to a room. Let's see, Asia, move to group four. Um, you should be in group four. Okay. Um, so go back to your room. Hi. 